The Anatolian languages are an extinct family of Indo-European languages that were spoken in Asia Minor ancient Anatolia, the best attested of them being the Hittite language. Languages The list below gives the Anatolian languages in a relatively flat arrangement, following a summary of the Anatolian family tree by Robert Beeks 2010. This model recognizes only one clear subgroup, the Luwic languages. Modifications and updates of the branching order continue, however. A second version opposes Hittite to Western Anatolian, and divides the latter node into Lydian, Palaic, and Aluian group instead of Luwic. Hittite Hittite was the language of the Hittite Empire, dated approximately 1650–1200 BC, which ruled over nearly all of Anatolia during that time. The earliest sources of Hittite are the 19th century BC Kultipe texts, the Assyrian records of the Karim Khanes, or Port of Kanish, an Assyrian enclave of merchants within the city of Khanes. This collection records Hittite names and words loaned into Assyrian from Hittite. The Hittite name for the city was Nessa, from which the Hittite endonym for the language, Nesili, was derived. The facts that the enclave was Assyrian, rather than Hittite, and that the city name became the language name, suggest that the Hittites were already in a position of influence, perhaps dominance, in central Anatolia. The main cache of Hittite texts is the approximately 30,000 clay tablet fragments, of which only some have been studied, from the records of the royal city of Hattusa, located on a ridge near what is now Bogaskal, Turkey formerly named Bogaskoy. The records show a gradual rise to power of the Anatolian language speakers over the native Hattians, until at last the kingship became an Anatolian privilege. From then on, little is heard of the Hattians, but the Hittites kept the name. The records include rituals, medical writings, letters, laws and other public documents, making possible an in-depth knowledge of many aspects of the civilization. Most of the records are dated to the 13th century BC Late Bronze Age. They are written in cuneiform script borrowing heavily from the Mesopotamian system of writing. The script is a syllabary. This fact, combined with frequent use of Akkadian and Sumerian words, as well as logograms, or signs representing whole words, to represent lexical items, often introduces considerable uncertainty as to the form of the original. However, phonetic syllable signs are present also, representing syllables of the form V, CV, VC, CVC, where V is vowel and C is consonant. Hittite is divided into old, middle, and new or neo. The dates are somewhat variable. They are based on an approximate coincidence of historical periods and variants of the writing system, the Old Kingdom and the Old Script, the Middle Kingdom and the Middle Script, and the New Kingdom and the New Script. Fortson gives the dates, which come from the reigns of the relevant kings, as 1570–1450 BC, 1450–1380 BC, and 1350–1200 BC respectively. These are not glottochronologic. All cuneiform Hittite came to an end at 1200 BC with the destruction of Hattusis and the end of the empire. Palaic Palaic, spoken in the north-central Anatolian region of Pala, extinct around the 13th century BC, is known only from fragments of quoted prayers in Old Hittite texts. It was extinguished by the replacement of the culture, if not the population, as a result of an invasion by the Kaskas, which the Hittites could not prevent. Luwic branch The term Luwic was proposed by Craig Melchert as the node of a branch to include several languages that seem more closely related than the other Anatolian languages. This is not a neologism, as Luvik had been used in the early 20th century AD to mean the Anatolian language group as a whole, or languages identified as Luvian by the Hittite texts. The name comes from Hittite Luwili. The earlier use of Luvik fell into disuse in favor of Luvian. Meanwhile, most of the languages now termed Luvian, or Luvik, were not known to be so until the latter 20th century AD. Even more fragmentary attestations might be discovered in the future. Luvian and Luvik have other meanings in English, so currently Luwian and Luwik are preferred. Before the term Luwik was proposed for Luwian and its closest relatives, scholars used the term Luwian languages in the sense of Luwik languages. 
For example, Sylvia Luraghi's Luwian branch begins with a root language she terms the Luwian group, which logically is in the place of common Luwian or Proto Luwian. Its three offsprings, according to her, are Milian, Proto Luwian, and Lycian, while Proto Luwian branches into cuneiform and hieroglyphic Luwian. Luwian The Luwian language is attested in two different scripts, cuneiform script and Anatolian hieroglyphs. While the earlier scholarship tended to treat these two corpora as separate linguistic entities, the current tendency is to separate genuine dialectal distinctions within Luwian from orthographic differences. Accordingly, one now frequently speaks of Kizuwatna Luwian, attested in cuneiform transmission, Empire Luwian, cuneiform and hieroglyphic transmission, and Iron Age Luwian, Late Luwian, hieroglyphic transmission, as well as several more Luwian dialects, which are more scarcely attested. The cuneiform corpus Melchertz-Kluwian is recorded in glosses and short passages in Hittite texts, mainly from Bogaskal. About 200 tablet fragments of the approximately 30,000 contain Kluwian passages. Most of the tablets reflect the Middle and New script, although some old script fragments have also been attested. Benjamin Fortson hypothesizes that Luvian was employed in rituals adopted by the Hittites. A large proportion of tablets containing Luvian passages reflect rituals emanating from Kizuwatna. On the other hand, many Luvian glosses foreign words in Hittite texts appear to reflect a different dialect, namely Empire Luvian. The Hittite language of the respective tablets sometimes displays interference features, which suggests that they were recorded by Luwian native speakers. The hieroglyphic corpus is a corpus recorded in Anatolian hieroglyphs, reflecting Empire Luwian and its descendant Iron Age Luwian. Some Luwian texts were found at Bogaskal, so it was formerly thought to have been a hieroglyphic Hittite. The contexts in which Kluwian and Luwian have been found are essentially distinct. Anik Payne asserts, with the exception of digraphic seals, the two scripts were never used together. Luwian texts are found on clay, shell, potsherds, pottery, metal, natural rock surfaces, building stone and sculpture, mainly carved lions. The images are in relief or counter-relief that can be carved or painted. There are also seals and ceilings. A ceiling is a counter-relief impression of hieroglyphic signs carved or cast in relief on a seal. The resulting signature can be stamped or rolled onto a soft material, such as sealing wax. The Luwian writing system contains about 500 signs, 225 of which are logograms, and the rest purely functional determinatives and syllabograms, representing syllables of the form V, CV, or rarely CVCV. CV. Luwian texts appear as early as the 14th century BC in names and titles on seals and ceilings at Hattusa. Longer texts first appear in the 13th century BC. Payne refers to the Bronze Age Luwian as Empire Luwian. All Hittite and Kluwian came to an end at 1200 BC as part of the Late Bronze Age collapse, but the concept of a fall of the Hittite Empire must be tempered in regard to the south, where the civilization of a number of Syro-Hittite states went on uninterrupted, using Luwian, which Payne calls Iron Age Luwian and dates 1000 to 700 BC. Presumably these autonomous Neo-Hittite Heads of state no longer needed to report to Hattusa. Luwian caches come from ten city-states in northern Syria and southern Anatolia, Cilicia, Charshamesh, Tel Akmar, Maras, Malatya, Kamajin, Amuq, Aleppo, Hama, and Tabal. <laughs> Lycian Lycian called Lycian A when Milian was a Lycian B was spoken in classical Lycia, in southwestern Anatolia. It is attested from 172 inscriptions, mainly on stone, from about 150 funerary monuments, and 32 public documents. The writing system is the Lycian alphabet, which the Lycians modified from the Greek alphabet. In addition to the inscriptions are 200 or more coins stamped with Lycian names. Of the texts, some are bilingual in Lycian and Greek, and one, the Latun trilingual, is in Lycian, Greek, and Aramaic. The longest text, the Xanthus Steel, with about 250 lines, was originally believed to be bilingual in Greek and Lycian, however the identification of a verse in another, closely related language, a Lycian B, identified now as Milian, renders the steel trilingual. The earliest of the coins are before 500 BC, however, the writing system must have required time for its development and implementation. 
The name of Lysha appears in Homer but more historically, in Hittite and in Egyptian documents among the Sea Peoples as the Luca, dwelling in the Luca lands. No Lycian text survives from Late Bronze Age times, but the names offer a basis for postulating its continued existence. Lycia was completely Hellenized by the end of the 4th century BC, after which Lycian is not to be found. Stephen Colvin goes so far as to term this, and the other scantily attested Luic languages, Late Luian, although they probably did not begin late. Topic. Milian Milian was previously considered a variety of Lycian, as Lycian B, but it is now considered a separate language. Carion Carion was spoken in Caria. It is fragmentarily attested from graffiti by Carion mercenaries and other members of an ethnic enclave in Memphis, Egypt and other places in Egypt, personal names in Greek records, 20 inscriptions from Caria including four bilingual inscriptions, scattered inscriptions elsewhere in the Aegean world and words stated as Carion by ancient authors. Inscriptions first appeared in the 7th century BC. Topic. Sidetic was spoken in the city of Side. It is known from coin legends and bilingual inscriptions that date from the 5th-2nd century BC. Topic. Pisidian The Pisidic language is a member of the extinct Anatolian branch of the Indo-European language family spoken in Pisidia, a region of ancient Asia Minor. Known from some 30 short inscriptions from the 1st to 2nd centuries CE, it appears to be closely related to Lycian and Sidetic. Lydian Lydian was spoken in Lydia. Within the Anatolian group, Lydian occupies a unique and problematic position due, first, to the still very limited evidence and understanding of the language and, second, to a number of features not shared with any other Anatolian language. The Lydian language is attested in graffiti and in coin legends from the end of the 8th or the beginning of the 7th century BC down to the 3rd century BC, but well-preserved inscriptions of significant length are presently limited to the 5th-4th centuries BC, during the period of Persian domination. Extant Lydian texts now number slightly over 100 but are mostly fragmentary. Other possible languages There were likely other languages of the family that have left no records, these include Lycaonian, and Isaurian, as well as languages such as Mysian, Cilician, and Pamphylian, which are too poorly attested to construe a relationship with Anatolian. Topic origins The Anatolian branch is generally considered the earliest to split from the Proto-Indo-European language, from a stage referred to either as Indo-Hittite or Middle Pi, typically a date in the mid-4th millennium BC is assumed. Under the Kurgan hypothesis, there are two possibilities for how the early Anatolian speakers could have reached Anatolia, from the north via the Caucasus, and from the west, via the Balkans, the latter of which is considered somewhat more likely by Mallory Steiner and Anthony Statistical research by Quentin Atkinson and others using Bayesian inference and glottochronological markers favors an Indo-European origin in Anatolia, though the method's validity and accuracy are subject to debate. Topic extinction Anatolia was heavily Hellenized following the conquests of Alexander the Great, and it is generally thought that by the end of the 6th century AD, the native languages of the area were extinct. This makes Anatolian the first well-attested branch of Indo-European to become extinct. A few words in the Armenian language have been suggested as possible borrowings from Hittite or Luwian. The poorly attested Isaurian language, which was probably a late Luwic dialect, appears to have been the last of the Anatolian languages to become extinct. Epigraphic evidence, including funerary inscriptions, dating from as late as the 5th century, has been found by archaeologists. The only other well known branch with no living descendants is Tocharian, whose attestation ceases in the 8th century AD. Topic features Hittite morphology is simpler than other early Indo European languages. Some IE characteristics seem to have disappeared in Hittite, and other IE language branches had developed different innovations. Hittite contains a number of archaisms that disappeared from other IE languages. Notably, Hittite has no gender system which distinguishes masculine and feminine, instead, it exhibits a noun class system based upon an older animate, inanimate distinction. 
It should be noted, however, that the masculine feminine distinction is still a matter of dispute since there are some, such Robert S. P. Beeks, who doubt that the feminine gender originated in Pi. Topic see also Armenian hypothesis tree model or Heimat Galatian, a Celtic language spoken in Anatolia Topic Notes Topic References Fortson, Benjamin W. 2010. Indo-European Language and Culture, An Introduction. Blackwell Textbooks in Linguistics 2nd ed. Chichester, UK, Malden, M.A., Wiley Blackwell, 19. Keane, Anthony G. 1998 Dynastic Lycia, A Political History of the Lycians and Their Relations with Foreign Powers, c. 545–362 BC. Nemozine, Bibliotheca Classica Batavia. Supplementum. Leiden, Boston, Köln, Brill. Luragi, Sylvia The Anatolian Languages, in Ramat, Anna Giacoloni, Ramat, Paolo, The Indo-European Languages, Routledge Language Family Descriptions, London, New York, Routledge. Originally published as La Lingue Indo-Europee. Mallory, J. P. In Search of the Indo-Europeans. London, Thames and Hudson Limited. Melchert, H. Craig The Position of Anatolian. PDF. Melchert, H. Craig. 2016. Louian. PDF. Patry, Sylvain. 2007. Lalingyaman syntaxique dans les langues indo europens d'Anatoly. Studien zu den Bogaskoi Texten 49. Wiesbaden, Otto Harisovitz. ISBN 978 3 447 05612 0. Rieken, Elizabeth. 2017. The Dialectology of Anatolian. In Fritz, Matthias, Joseph, Brian, Klein, Jared, Comparative Indo European Linguistics, Handbooks of Linguistics and Communication Science, Berlin, New York, De Gruyter Mouton, pp. 298 308. Mallory, J. P. In Search of the Indo Europeans. London, Thames and Hudson Ltd. Payne, Annick. Hieroglyphic Luwian, An Introduction with Original Texts. Silo, Subsidia et Instrumenta Linguarum Orientis 2nd Revised ed. Wiesbaden, Harisovitz. Steiner, G. The Immigration of the First Indo-Europeans into Anatolia Reconsidered. Journal of Indo-European Studies, 18-185-214. Yakubovich, Ilya 2011. Luwian and the Luwians. In Stedman, Sharon R., McMahon, Gregory, The Oxford Handbook of Ancient Anatolia, Oxford, Oxford University Press, pp. 534–547 External links Digital Etymological Philological Dictionary of the Ancient Anatolian Corpus Languages Ediana. Ludwig Maximilians Universitat München. Retrieved 18 February 2017. Luwian. Archived from the original on 4 February 2012. Retrieved 7 February 2012. Justus, Carol, Slocum, Jonathan. Indo-European Languages, Anatolian Family. University of Texas at Austin. Archived from the original on 5 February 2012. Retrieved 7 February 2012. Melchert, H. Craig. Anatolian Databases. UCLA. Retrieved 7 February 2012. Luwian, Lycian and Lydian. Laufenberger, Olivier. 2006. The Hittite Grammar Homepage. Archived from the original on 20 May 2011.